Hi, my name is Mindy. I am a registered dietitian at Second Harvest, and I would love to show everyone a little experiment on digestion. So I have here 100% whole wheat bread and a white bread or refined bread that I've placed in stomach acid. So let's take a look at what's going on. So we have here the 100% whole wheat bread. And I just take the lid off. So it's pretty intact. I mean, it's still, it's wet, it's mushy. It's been sitting in acid for a while here. And let's take a look at the white. Oh man. So the white one is also intact. Um, it looks just a little bit more, I'm noticing more slimy to it a little bit. Oh, it's breaking apart there. Um, so, oh, as you'll see, it's just kind of coming undone. Again, let's take a look at that whole wheat one, the 100% whole wheat one, it is more intact. So now we're gonna take a look at the components of a whole grain. So this will really bring us back to why one would digest a little bit more quickly than the next. The whole grain's composed of three different parts. We have this outer layer, which is called the bran, that's the fiber rich source. You have this inner lighter yellow portion, which is called the endosperm. That's the energy rich part, the carbohydrate rich source. And then there's the inner germ, which has a lot of vitamins and minerals. So what happens is when we have a white bread or refined grain, is that they're actually removing the refinement process, removes the bran and the germ. So you're just left with the endosperm. So when we have a whole grain, as you'll notice, this is the stomach right here, but that grain will stay in the stomach longer because of the fiber that we saw that was in the part of the whole grain picture. When it's refined, so with that white bread, as you notice, it digested more quickly, but it stays in your stomach not as long as the whole grain does. So the fiber that's in the whole grain will actually keep you fuller longer, but it also has some other great benefits too. So one of the best parts about fiber is not only will it help things stay in your stomach, it'll help food uh, digest more slowly, but it also is very, very beneficial for um, your gut, more or less. So it will actually act like a little broom that sweeps through and cleans out all the bad stuff. So it's really, really beneficial for your health. So you're probably asking, well, this is great information, Mindy, but how, how much whole grain should I get in a day? So the recommendation right now is that half of your grains should be whole grains. But how do you tell? Well, let's take a closer so look. The only way to tell for sure if a grain is a whole grain is to actually read the label. So you want to look for, in the very first ingredients, you're looking for the word whole. So as you'll notice in the 100% whole wheat, that the first ingredient says whole wheat flour. And so looking at the label with the white bread, we're going to read that first ingredient and you'll notice that it says unbleached enriched flour. So it is missing that word whole. So we're knowing that it's not actually the whole grain on there. So we have here another wheat bread, which you're probably saying, well, yeah, of course that's a whole grain. But really, again, the only way to know for sure is by looking at that label. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that around. So this one actually says unbleached enriched flour as well as the first one. So it, although it says wheat on the front, it's not actually a whole grain. So the only way to know for sure if a grain is a whole grain is really to look at the nutrition facts label on the back and to read those ingredients and you're going to be looking for the word whole on there.